All right, so I have the Vetus Nucleus VR, and it's probably the best budget hardtail right out of the box. But I've become a bit of a snob, so it's time to upgrade. It's time to take this bike to the next level, and that's by installing a dropper and going tubeless. After just two rides on the Vetus Nucleus, I already noticed that there were some issues. The first off, I already have a flat on the front tire. Secondly, the stock seat post is very long and it was getting in the way quite a bit, especially on jumps. And it goes without saying that manually raising up and down your seat before a climb or before a descent, it's just primitive. So I picked up the PNW Ridge dropper post, 125 millimeters for $162. I decided to go with the PNW because I wanted 125 millimeters. The cheap dropper posts that you can find on Amazon for 80 to $100 are usually about 100 millimeters rise. With the standover height on the Vetus Nucleus being so low, I want a dropper post that can go slammed all the way up to where I need where I can really pedal hard on the uphill. The cheapest 125 millimeter dropper that I could find was about $140. PNW is a trusted brand that comes with a three year warranty, so I'm happy to spend $20 extra. The tires I'm going with are the Vittoria Barzo, 2.35 in the front, 2.25 in the rear. And I'm going with the Barzo instead of the Mezcal because I want a little bit more traction on the rocky trails that I have here in Arizona. I got a killer deal on these tires though. $52 for the front, $48 for the rear. So I'm looking at $100 just for the tires. For tubeless, that's a steal. Also this slick red valve that I got, about $16. I didn't go with Maxxis because I wanted to try a different brand I've already sliced my Maxxis Recon twice and it's only been probably four or five rides. So without wasting any more time, let's upgrade this thing. This is actually the multi-tool that came with the Vetus in a complimentary package, and it's awesome. Goes all the way up to six, has some torques. It's pretty cool. I just discovered something with this bike that's truly amazing. It comes taped tubeless. That's insane on a $650 bike. It was actually difficult to put the tire on the rim. It was really tight fitting, which is a good thing. I didn't have to mess with the bead at all with bungee cords and ropes like I've done in the past. I just inflated it and it snapped right on. I was impressed. It was definitely the easiest tubeless installation I've ever done. And I think that's because it came pre-taped by a professional. All I can say is these gray sidewall tires make the bike look sick.
All right, just finished with my very first ride on the Vetus Nucleus VR, upgraded. And it was the longest ride I've done to date, about three hours with tons of climbing. And the bike really climbed well. I was cleaning sections that I wasn't usually in the past. I'm so happy that I have tubeless now because I probably ran over like 5,000 cactus balls and no flats. And this bike is fully trail ready now. The total cost of the bike as ridden right now is $928. And the total weight is 31.4 pounds, which is 0.7 over the weight of the bike when I first got it but that's the weight without pedals. I'm really happy to have the dropper. It's not getting in the way when I jump and I'm able to throw a little style just like I like to. Now that it has these upgrades, I'm really curious to see how it stacks up against the Schwinn Axum. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.